this is me and my mate Dave and we're heading for the Birch Hall Inn. The legendary, the, the best legend. pub in the world. Absolutely. I mean, it's only nine o'clock in the morning and we're already talking about drinking beer. So we're going to go to the pub and then we're going to go over the river and have a bit of a wild camp. Apparently you're not an alcoholic unless you start having beerlies on your cornflakes in the morning. I think that sounds like a good idea. That actually sounds delicious, actually. <laughs> Having a wait. Very confident with his camouflage, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit it does a bit, doesn't it? bushcraft shelter that someone's made earlier. I'm not sure it's a very opportune place to build a shelter because you can get water running off that slope, aren't you? That's pretty cool. Looks like they we're gonna light a fire as well but it doesn't look like they did. Yeah I think this shelter's gonna leak Dave. Is that where you're sleeping tonight then? Absolutely not. It's good firewood though, just ready for us. Yeah, it's ideal, is that? Some good kindling there. I should have brought my tinder box. Oh, look at that, that spoils it. Oh, those bastards. That spoils it, doesn't it? We're going to have to take that with me now. Well, not if we were coming back tonight. I mean, it's an unlit fire, isn't it? I was here. When was I here? A month ago. This actually would be a really good spot for a wild camp there. Yeah. You've got water. Somewhere for your hammock. Do, you, do a bit of fishing. Would you get your hammock there? No. About, about 10 metres apart is what you want. Between 5 and 10 metres. Like that tree to this one would work. Actually, that might be a bit far. Yeah, but Dave, it's not close enough to the pub, is it? I think we must be the only wild campers that have a, must be near a pub criteria. It defeats the whole purpose of wild camping, doesn't it? Really. We want to wild camp, but only near civilization. <laughs> I want to wild camp, but can you just move the pub there for an hour? Or three? I actually thought about bringing some beer. Well, I brought some whiskey. Did you? Oh, good man. Would you like to try some now? <laughs> it's not even 10 o'clock, dude.
Oh, nice. Now, when I was on my bike, I got lost. I went, I took a wrong path up here and I ended up in these woods. I had to cut through down this hill with my bike. Got, cut, cut to shit with brambles. How did you get lost on that path? It just, well, it turned into like a path like this when I thought it was this one. Didn't work very well. What kind of whiskey is it? You don't need to waste that stuff on me, mate. You know, they've been doing a, um, a special on um, famous grouse at Sainsbury's, you know. One litre for, I think it's 16 quid. Is that not good? I don't know much about whiskey. Here we have an educational video. In here, 24 year old oak matured Island Park whiskey. And here we have a primitive whiskey drinker. As long as it gets you pissed. That's actually quite nice. Very smooth, isn't it? Yeah, I like that. Yeah, it is. Five to ten. AM. <laughs> hey, PM. Um, hey, it's very it's very light at the moment. Yeah, and actually, we've just been to church. <laughs> we have, we've been to a church. I'm glad we came up this path now. Lovely, isn't it? Yeah. I guess we're going this way, aren't we? Or is it this way? Uh, this is Dave with his fancy new gimbal. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to use it. <laughs> figuring out how to use it. Typical meal. Pressing the buttons at random. I can hear Joe telling me now. Well, why don't you read the instructions? You don't need the instructions. What do you want them for? I'm with Dale on this switch one. Switch it on. Use it. That's why it's gone off now, look. Yes. <laughs> it's got the ump. <laughs> I think my next, if I buy a new camera, then my next thing is going to be a drone. Yeah. Get one of those DJI Mavic. Yeah. I, uh... You follow you on the bike. Imagine that. You're riding through the Alps. You've got one of that following at you. Clever, innit? Yeah. Unless it gets attacked by, unless it gets attacked by an eagle. <laughs> the, um, they're about five hundred quid, aren't they? Yeah, five or six hundred quid. You can probably, they've, gone, they've come down in price, so they've only been out a year or two, and they started out at a grand. So I figure if I give it another year, <laughs> you get down to about two fifty. You don't really and want I, to buy I won't feel so stupid. I don't know. I mean, the thing about them that's really good though is they have they got sensors all the way around them, so they won't crash into things. Come back to you as well, don't yeah, they? if the battery's running low, they come back to you automatically. So that's what if you bought one for a grand and you lost it, that would be disastrous. But if it's 250 quid, it's not so bad, is it? <laughs> I like the theory. Well, I've lost 250 quid before, <laughs> you know what I mean? I've lost 250 quid, and no, maybe not that much on a night out. Well, that's not a loss if it's on a night out, is it? <laughs> What was that uh, WC Fields said? WC Fields goes into a bar and says, Did I come in here last night and spend $100 on drink and women? And he says, Yeah. And he says, I thank fuck for that. I thought I'd lost it. <laughs> <laughs>